It's been a hundred years since the Titanic sank, but yet we're still fascinated by everything that happened that night. Have you ever thought about why? Of course, there's no one reason, but one possibility is that the tragedy taps into human themes that people the world over can still relate to. The Titanic was the biggest of its kind and many people thought unsinkable. So when an iceberg took it down, the previously unimaginable became reality. Of course, such shocking events happen today. Just think of the Twin Towers falling during the 9-11 terrorist attacks. It was always possible that these towers would fall, but most people probably never thought they would. The Titanic represents perhaps the worst kind of tragedy, one that didn't have to happen. The captain made a grave navigational error. There were not enough lifeboats for everybody on board, and many of the lifeboats went unfilled. In short, any number of things could have saved hundreds of lives. For passengers on the Titanic, chances of survival came down to money. If you were in a first-class cabin, you had a much better chance of seeing another day. Passengers in the second and third-class cabins were the most likely to die. Today, rich versus poor is a constant social and political theme, and the numbers are clear. On average, rich people live longer than poor people the world over. For example, the average person in a developed country has a much higher life expectancy than the average person in a poor country. From time immemorial, the ocean has spoken to the human soul. The Titanic wasn't discovered until 1985, some 73 years after sinking, and it was discovered broken into two pieces, laying more than two miles below the surface of the ocean. Everything about the Titanic's discovery reinforces the mystique of the sea. Okay, for this one we have to thank Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet for their stirring performances in the 1997 blockbuster movie, Titanic. By all accounts, there wasn't much romance on the actual voyage. The majority of passengers were men, traveling without their families. But the affair in the movie captures love's ideals. After all, it's the heart that leads, and it's not bound by societal norms. DiCaprio loves Winslet so much that he sacrifices his own life so that she may survive. If you're watching this, like many the world over, you're interested in the Titanic. What is it that continues to draw you in?